In the time that I was researching the purchase of my A6300, I was limited by the sparse information Sony provides and the limited knowledge of others. One area that I found to be severely lacking was that of S-Log in the picture profiles in the camera's video mode. It's not that there wasn't information available, it was just poorly laid out or incomplete. So to help others that may be in a similar situation with similar questions, I want to show you the different picture profiles, how to access them, and how to make them your own. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually show you how to access the picture profiles. This can be done by opening the camera's menu, going to the camera settings, and accessing the fifth tab. At the very bottom, you should see picture profile. Opening that will then provide you with nine different pre-made options to choose from. While on any of the nine picture profiles, if you press the right button, you'll then be prompted for some additional items you can change. And now we get to take a look at some of these picture profiles that are offered. Um, all of these are unmodified, unless I specifically state otherwise. First up, we have no picture profile. It's on creative mode standard with nothing changed. We're currently at a frame rate of 1 50th, 24 frames per second, 4K with f3.5. We've now switched to picture profile number one. We've now switched to picture profile number two. It has a little more blue in it. All right, now we're switching to picture profile three. And this is with the ITU 709 for the gamma and color mode is pro. All right, next up is picture profile four. Just to have a little bit more warmer colors. Uh, gamma level is still ITU 709 and color mode is ITU 709 matrix both of those standards for this picture profile All right now we're in picture profile five things are getting a little bit flatter in this one um, The gamma is sine one and color mode is cinema. This is picture profile six. And now picture profile seven. We now have S log two, and for color mode, this is S gamut. Now the big difference with S log two and S log three is the pictures are gonna be much more exposed, um, slightly overexposed at that to get a better, higher dynamic range. Um, once we get into S log three, you're also gonna see a ISO minimum of 800. Um, I'm going to have to uh, ramp up the f-stops a couple so that we're not way too overexposed. All right, and now we are at picture profile 8. And again, this is an ISO minimum of 800. So let me go ahead and uh, turn the uh, f-stop up. Now we're at 4.0, 4.5, 5.0. And it's keeping that pretty much the same throughout. All right, and next up is picture profile nine. This is the last one. And this is with a gamma with S log three and color mode is S gamut three. 
switch this back to picture profile off. So this is very close to what I'm seeing. It's a little more saturated, much more green. Um, light colors relatively accurate. The tree colors are relatively accurate. The greens are definitely ramped up. So go back into picture profile one. And this is with the gamma or movie and color mode movie. All right, picture mode two. It's like the contrast is a little bit higher on this one. This is gamma still and color mode still. Everything else is at zero. Picture profile three. Starting to flatten out a little bit. It's the ITU 709 for gamma and color mode pro. Picture profile four. Looks like it has the, uh, the contrast still, but it increases the saturation a little bit more. And this is the ITU 709 for the gamma. Color mode is ITU 709 matrix. Picture profile five. Starting to flatten it out a little bit. This is with gamma sign one and color mode cinema. Picture profile six, gamma sign two, color mode cinema. Picture profile seven, once again the exposure jacked way up and picture is much, much flatter with S log two and color mode S gamut. Picture profile eight with the gamma being S log three and color mode being S gamut three cinema. And lastly, picture profile nine. For reference, that canoe out there is a bright orange and yellow and red. So you can see how flat that color is, how little saturation there is with it. All right, and now I'm actually gonna go to picture profile eight. And I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna change this from S log three, and I'm gonna change it to sign four, right there. So this is one of my favorite picture profile custom ones. So it doesn't flatten it out quite as much, but it still makes it a little bit flatter, and you can definitely tell there's a difference, but it's much easier to color grade. So moving this around a little bit so you can see. The greens are still there. Um, looking at the spectrum one here, it's much narrower than standard, but it's still not as flat as S-Log. Okay, so right now we're on standard. Picture profile one, picture profile two, picture profile three, picture profile four, picture profile five, picture profile six, seven, eight, and nine. 